Hi guys, welcome back. It's the 2nd of December, or it will be when this goes live. This is my second vlog of the season, of Vlogmas or Vlogsember, whichever you prefer. Now I said yesterday, some of these videos will be short, some of them will be long, it's 24 days worth, maybe 25. Some will be in here, some will be outside. I think this one's gonna be a bit of both. Some in here, some outside. Um, it's probably going to be short, but it is going to be a significant vlog, certainly for the flat. Um, I just popped to the supermarket on the way home from work and picked up a sandwich, a turkey feast from Sainsbury's, which they describe as British turkey and chestnut and thyme stuffing with mayonnaise, Apollo lettuce, cranberry and apple chutney, and maple cured British bacon on malted bread. It'll be my first my first bits of turkey of this season. For anyone not in Britain or who doesn't celebrate Christmas, the traditional roasted meat we have on Christmas day is turkey. Not everyone does, um, but if Christmas were a bird, it would be a turkey, certainly here in Britain. If you do something differently, let everyone know in the comments below. So anyway, I was buying the sandwich now this room is looking pretty bland. It doesn't look very festive, so I need some decorations. While I was in the supermarket, I noticed they have Christmas trees, evergreen trees. Now I'm not sure how long a Christmas tree lasts. Um, along the street here, normally people turn up and start selling the larger Christmas trees nearer Christmas. The florists often have them. Um, I don't know how long they last, but I'm guessing if I buy one, now, well they're not selling that, but I'm guessing it wouldn't last until Christmas Day. However, in the supermarket, they've got trees in pots. When I say trees, they're more like a small shrub or a small bush, but it's something. So, I'm gonna go and get an evergreen tree. And I guess that's a pretty good start, a pretty good symbol of Christmas. A pretty good way to mark the start of Christmas with a Christmas tree. Anyway, let's dig into this sandwich first and see what this is like. Not bad. Definitely taste the cranberry and apple chutney. Not so much the thyme. The bacon's good. The turkey's pretty moist, not too dry. Pretty good sandwich. Right, let's go and pick up a tree. It's getting dark here earlier and earlier. It starts to get dark now at about three to four and then by six o'clock, it's six o'clock now, it's pitch black. Okay, here we go, Sainsbury's. Welcome to Sainsbury's where good food costs less. I'm only kidding, this isn't a brand deal. I'm gonna to have to pay for this tree. And there's a security guard looking at me quite funny over there. It's gonna make sure I do pay for these. Oh look, they've got the Christmas plants, I forget what they're called, and these little Christmas trees. 10 pounds, can't go wrong for 10 pounds. So I'm gonna try and pick out the biggest one of the bunch, because they're all quite short. Actually, Sainsbury's was established back in the 1860s. And it's now, I think, the second largest, um, the second largest chain of supermarkets in the UK. And my flat was actually one of the original London stores. Oh, they're actually quite spiky these trees. Yeah, my flat was actually one of the original London stores, and it was built over 100 years ago, so it would have been overseen by the original founder himself. He certainly would have visited it. I'm a big fan of the self-service checkout. The old and the slow, they need to be served by a human. So they're all queuing up in the long lines at the, uh, the checkouts. And the queues at these self-service machines are a lot faster.
I love this thing home. Okay, here we go. The tree. I'll grab a pair of scissors to cut it open and I think I'll get a dish to go underneath. Fill there's holes in the base to allow the water out, I guess. Tree, perfect for small, small places. Yeah. Position suitable for indoor or outdoor use. Outdoors, full sun or partial shade. Indoors, cool, dry position away from direct heat. Temperature to prolong needle retention. Keep temperature below 20 degrees centigrade where possible. Watering. Water regularly to keep compost moist. When watering indoors, place a pot in a water holding container before watering to protect surfaces. Already done that. Top tips. After caring for your tree over the Christmas period, why not try planting it in your garden and keep it alive for next year. Position in full sun or partial shade. Continue to water throughout the year and apply a little liquid feed from spring onwards. Okay. Let's open this up. Certainly pretty compact. I think it's a good start. As you can see, this room's pretty plain. Um, we also need to decorate it. I think there's enough vlog in that. We can go out and get some decorations, and then we can decorate the tree. I think tomorrow I'll try and do something different. We'll go. We'll leave the flat. We'll try and go out and about and do something out in London. There's plenty here to do. Trying to figure out where to get some decorations from. Now, as I, if you watched yesterday's vlog, well, as I said yesterday, Chloe's washed her hands with this um, after I threw away last year's decorations. So I'm in charge of decorating. I'm thinking Santa's Grotto needs tiles boudoir. I'm not going to spend much money. I'm thinking Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen's Winter Wonderland. I think that's shut because it went bankrupt. Perfect. Uh, 
Well anyway, I think that's a good start to Vlogmas, a treat. And we'll put it on the floor next to the TV. I've got you too. I might have to get a bigger one. Well guys, let me know what you think of the little tree. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you'd like to be the first to see my new videos, subscribe, I'm sure you already have. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.